Hello, boys and girls. Today we are going to learn how to make these cute self-portraits catching snowflakes. Here is a version for a boy. Here's a version for a girl. Long hair, short hair. Some girls are short hair, some boys have long hair. So however it is that you wanna create your self-portrait, you're going to include a few things. First of all, you're going to include your head looking up so that you only see the little tip of your nose and your mouth open with your tongue catching snowflakes. Next thing that you're gonna do is have a colorful scarf. You're gonna wear your favorite sweater. It's a little bit nicer to draw and color and stylize a sweater than a winter jacket. So I want you to find and think about your favorite sweater and that's what you're gonna put on. If you don't have one that's so colorful, no worries, you could create your own. Let's get started. All you need is a piece of white paper. You need a pencil, you need an eraser, and you need pencil sharpener, markers, crayons, or your markers, or combination of both. All right, let's get started. All right, I'm going to start. I like this is my new surface of my desk, so I want to just always be working on something that can cover my desk. We're going to hold the paper portrait style, which means up and down, and we are making a portrait. So to get started, I'm going to just start right away with marker, but you're going to start with pencil. We want to make a nose up at the top and then a circle, and we want to fill the page, but leave room for your arms. So let's get started. Maybe I'll start with the pencil just to show you. Okay, you can just do a little circle and then your little nose. So here we go. I always bump into that camera. All right, pretty simple. Little nostrils. We want to start with our tongue. And we're gonna put a snowflake on our tongue because we are catching snowflakes. Okay, the next thing that we're gonna do is we are going to make the mouth. I know a lot of kids have been telling me that they've lost a few teeth, so I'm gonna leave a little spot open. Uh, next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna make the scarf. Okay, scarf goes around the neck. I always like to make it look like it's blowing in the wind. Just gives it some movement. And of course, I love to add the fringe. The next thing that we're gonna do is just a very simple shape for the sweater. Gonna put the arm up. Put a little glove on. Same thing over here. This one you're gonna see, some of it is gonna go behind the, the scarf, it's okay. Okay, next thing that you're gonna do is when I look at these, I wanna be inspired and have a nice, bright, colorful scar um, scarf as well as sweater. I don't know, I always seem to be doing this with my scarves to make them striped. And the sweater too. You can write something there. You can put a pattern there. I will continue this same pattern here on the sleeves. Next thing I'm gonna do, how do you wanna do your hair? Do you have short hair? It's blowing in the wind. Is your hair a little bit longer? What color is your hair? It's kind of hard to see a lot of hair with the way we're, we're um, drawing this. And you really wanna get an idea that somebody has a hat on with your head tilted backwards. So, um, I'm just gonna make it be long hair. Okay. Next thing, how do you want to create your sweater? Do you want to write something? Do you have a favorite sweater that has something on it? Um, 
All right, I'm making this one a girl sweater, of course, because I'm adding these hearts. And I added some long hair. Maybe you're just gonna add some little patterns, which is just repeating lines or shapes. And I can repeat those patterns all over. And because it was just Valentine's Day, maybe I'll write love here. I like to do it first with pencil. Then I like to go back and make it block letters, which means I'm just kind of going around the shape that I started with the pencil just to make it big and thick. I'm pretty much done. Maybe the, maybe the scarf will have hearts and stars. And we are pretty much done with designing this part. Now all we have to do is the background. And the background is gonna be just simple snowflakes, okay? We've done these so many times before. It's just a series of lines, straight lines. One, two, three, four. We're making them all different size sizes and we're filling up the page. We're gonna even add in some of those little snowballs that are dropping. Those just help fill up your page. Last thing you do is sign your name and then you're gonna start to color. Here are my two versions. Let me get rid of this. Have fun. I can't wait to see what you create. Take your time. Again, a simple shape as a circle, a little half circle for the nose. Your scarf, your sweater, your arms, and your snowflakes help fill up the page and make this a really fun lesson. Oops, I didn't sign this one. All right, happy snow days because we've been having an awful lot of snow around here. Enjoy the snow, my friends.